As President Jimmy Carter begins receiving hospice care at home, one local man is reflecting on his own special relationship with the president. Les Francis was President Carter's deputy chief of staff in the White House. Francis lives in Camino now and just received a birthday card from the president this week. This last Monday was my 80th birthday, February 13th. And I got a letter. <clears throat> Someone told me today it was probably one of the last letters that the president signed. Les Francis shows the birthday letter he received from President Jimmy Carter the same week Carter's family announced he's entering hospice care. You know, how, how do you uh, how do you explain that kind of relationship, that kind of person? The special note stirring emotions and memories. This photo shows Francis in the Oval Office with President Carter. This one on Air Force One. President Carter's deputy chief of staff developed loyal ties and a deep friendship with the president. A man of uh, deep character, um, complex. What are your thoughts on the way history is reflecting on the Carter administration now? Well, Steve, a couple of things. One is uh, I'm glad that the reappraisal happened while Jimmy Carter was still alive. The single-term president is now widely recognized for his focus on human rights around the world. The more complete story is now being told of the Carter presidency. As President Carter now enters hospice, this friend prepares a somber farewell. When, when he passes, it will be a big hole in my life. Jimmy Carter is 98 years old. Francis says many of his staffers from that term four decades ago still get together for weekly calls to talk politics.